The more experience you gain in this business, the more you will realize that there are some focal points or specific areas of concern that you need to pay attention to when detailing any vehicle. These are the areas that, when addressed, really makes a difference with how you do your service and how your customers feel about the service that you render. And today, I'm going to share with you the top 5 areas to focus on when detailing a semi-truck. Hey everyone, it's Ryan here from Mobile Detailing Secrets where you'll find valuable information on how to be successful and build wealth through mobile auto detailing. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell and get regular updates that will help you through your journey. So, let's jump into it. For the interest of time, we are just going to focus on the cab and not on the sleeper part of the truck. This will need a whole new how-to video on its own. The cab is where the driver spends majority of the functional part of his job. This is where all his senses is in high gear to make sure that he operates his vehicle in a safe manner. This also means that he will see all the details in terms of cleanliness and condition of all the surfaces, from the levers and knobs to the feel of the steering wheel and armrests. So without further ado, here's the top 5 focus area when detailing a semi. Pay attention to the fourth one, I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Number 1. Turn Signals, Steering Wheels and Gears Top on our list are the turn signals, steering wheels and gears. These are the controls that any driver touch and see while they are behind the wheels. Although they don't look at it directly when driving, they can definitely feel it. And since these are high touch point areas, it tends to be very dirty over time. Don't forget to treat the underside of these surfaces, as this is where the dirt and grease really sticks. Number 2. Armrests You need to be very comfortable when driving long hauls. This means any accessories designed for the purpose of comfort will constantly be used. This includes the armrest and the door panel as well as on the seat itself. And since this again is a high touch point area, it tends to get very dirty. But the armrest sometimes becomes an afterthought for detailers as we tend to focus more on the bigger, more visible surfaces and areas and neglect the ones that the drivers interact the most. When you're treating the armrest, make sure to cover all areas including the bottom and rear part. For door panel armrests, don't be surprised to see wear and tear. This is normal. Just use techniques gentle enough to remove any contamination without damaging the material. Number 3. Instrument Panels and Dashboard This is an obvious one, and you really can't miss this, and if you do, then maybe you're in the wrong job. But kidding aside, the dashboard and instrument panel is one of the most critical areas you need to pay very careful attention to. First, there's the safety aspect to it. The dials and instruments are very sensitive and for the most part, have already been preset by the driver. This is even more critical during winter when the truck is running and all dials and controls are working. Second is the complexity of the surface area to be detailed. You see the instrument panel of a semi-truck is not the same as a Tesla car where minimalist is the word used to inspire design, and surfaces remain simple, flat, and easy to clean. On the contrary, semi-trucks are loaded with controls and dials, and it's hard to access all these different shapes. So just don't rush yourself when you're dealing with this area, and really focus on the detailing part, and not only on the speed. Number 4. Lower side door and base of seat. Have you ever heard about the expression, your eyes eat first? I learned this when I was working with Starbucks years and years ago. There's a reason why those pastries and delicacies look so irresistible. There's a science behind it. They're displayed closer and to eye level and from left to right as to whatever products they want to focus on. This works the same with anything including mobile detailing a semi. When the driver opens the door to his truck from the ground, the first thing he sees is not the dashboard, but instead the lower part of the door, the door jam, then the base part of the driver's seat. They're eye level, and he looks at this area from left to right. It doesn't matter if the dashboard or any other area is perfectly detailed if the first thing they see is not properly treated. 
This sets up their first impression and the entire experience of your customer. Number 5. Floor Since dirt, trash, and any other contamination falls, then this takes us to our last focused area, the floor. The flooring also makes up the largest and dirtiest area that you'll be dealing with. Most semi-truck floor is made of vinyl, but you can also find materials like carpet and rubber for older trucks. Vinyl flooring are quite easy to clean, especially the flat ones, but there are also ribbed and textured vinyl flooring that can be tricky to clean. You can get away by using a powered brush or even sometimes just with an APC in cloth. In general, the most dirty part of the floor is the driver's side, so it helps to always expect this and provide extra time focusing in this area. Now, there are other areas that you need to be mindful of, like the windshield and glass, as well as the seats. So just make sure that you manage your time well. Otherwise, you might end up spending longer time than what you intended. Semi-truck detailing is very lucrative, as you can demand a higher service fee. But if not done in the right manner, you can easily lose track of time and even damage some components which will lead to money loss and very disgruntled customer. I hope you like this video and please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to support my channel by subscribing and clicking the bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.